it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Gyan bingi lila ngi kinga kamil ga chesu amen Happy Sabbath Okay, uh, I don't know how many minutes I do, I still have since Tiwa Melesi Belana for two hours. And Mina Gengia Kulume la Bazalan. So you'll have to stop me where, if you see that I'm, I'm, I'm taking uh, your time. But I believe good to whatever the Lord has prepared for us, it is for ourselves and for the community as well, which we need to help each other with. Um, the, the, uh, the topic of today is going to be the everlasting gospel. The everlasting gospel, it is the, um, the title of the lesson of today. And the verse is found from Revelation chapter 14, verse number 6 and 7. I'm not going to touch the whole three angels' messages, but I'm just going to touch the first angels' message. And I want to show you, Uguti, within the first angels' message, we have the three angels' messages. Before you even go and read verse number 8 and verse number 9 to 12, you also have your three angels' messages within the first angel. Can somebody read it for me in the Bible King James Version, if you found it? Sorry, verse number six and seven. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to speak unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people that tell them, saying with a loud voice, Be abroad and be sure to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. What is he that may heaven and earth and the sea and the fountain of the earth? So what we see here, what Johanne says here, Uguti, he sees an angel, Angiti. Shuguti bona ingilosi indiza gupi, emkatini. I'm not going to be preaching, so I'm, I'm going to interact with you. I'm going to do another demonstration. So I'll be doing an exercise, like I'll be asking you a question. We interact, Angiti. So John says he sees an angel, indiza emkatini, ipete ini, ivangeli. Angiti. After that, it says, "Guti elevangeli le lumele shunya le gupi in all kinds and nations and tongues." Angiti. Meaning, guti it has to be proclaimed worldwide, right? But then this angel ipete the everlasting gospel. When you read in the Spirit of Prophecy, Ellen White says the everlasting gospel that was it, it was actually the gospel which was preached in the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter three, verse fifteen, when God said. I will put enmity between Ubani, the woman and the seed, meaning that the everlasting gospel, its work is to separate. That means it separates sin and sinners. It separates error and what? And truth. Why do I say so? Turn with me in your Bibles to the book of uh, Mark chapter 10, verse number 34. Mark chapter 10, verse number 34. Why do we say the Bible or the everlasting gospel uh, brings separation. Mark chapter 10, verse number 34, the Bible says, uh, is it Mark? Sorry, this is not the verse I need. The verse I want, it says, Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth, for I am come not to send peace but a sword. I am come to separate the mother-in-law and the sister-in-law and the brother-in-law and the father-in-law. Meaning that what God is trying to illustrate, Gitilana, Uguti, he brings a separation. Why? Because there are those who are going to obey. There are those who are going to what? To disobey whatever the message is going to be. Now, when it says, Uguti, Unkulunkulu says, um, uh, fear God and give him what? 
and give him glory for the hour of his judgment is what? Is come. I want us to understand what does it mean to fear God? What does it mean to give glory? What does it mean to say the hour of the judgment is what? Is come. Can somebody read for me in the book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse number 7? Proverbs chapter 1, verse number 7. It says what, my sister? The fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of knowledge. But fools do what? Okay. Who write to judgment one? Okay. Okay, I, I, I've got a question for the church. Who, who are the fools that despise wisdom and instruction? I, I, I heard unbelievers. Those who don't fear God. Can we find unbelievers in the church? Can we find those who don't fear God in the church? Now, Matthew chapter 25 is the parable of the ten virgins where it says in, in the year 1842, sorry, 15 August 1844, when the midnight cry message came and said, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to what? To meet him. Mm -hmm. So that message, which was the midnight cry during the time period, Yama Pioneers, Abo Ellen White, it brought separation within the movement. So as it brought separation within the movement, what happened? It was seen who were the foolish and who were the wise so what does it illustrate to us at the end of the world it illustrates us an event that is going to bring sorry it illustrates a message that will bring a, a, an event which will separate abazalwan hence i had an answer that says Guti, we can find the foolish virgins within the what the adventism today so uma iti the fear of the lord uma umsaba unkulunkulu gu kalagwani who is wisdom? What is this wisdom that the fools are despising? If you, do, if you go in Proverbs chapter 1, from verse number 20, it says, um, counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. Ikulumange wisdom referring to Christ. Who in the Bible asked for wisdom? Solomon. Solomon. He asked for wisdom. from so meaning Uguti, when it says wisdom, it is talking about Christ. So when you are fearing God, unobani une Christ to enter Zeniako. Therefore, Proverbs chapter 8, verse number 13, what does it say? Can somebody read it for me? The fear of the Lord is to hate what? Pride. Mm. And what? Mm. Evil. Evil. Okay. And evil, right? Now go to Proverbs chapter 4, verse number 14 to 18. I want to explain something about this evil. Pro, pro, chapter 4, verse 14. The way of the evil men are those that are disobedient to the word of God. So if it says the fear of evil, pride and arrogance. If pride says it is one of the greatest sins that brought the devil away from heaven. There are two sins that made the devil to be brought down to the earth, meaning that it was pride nani, ne self-exaltation. How do you then see the characteristics of Satan in us? It is pride and self-exaltation. We are pagami saniti. Whether he suit oite nile, whether he moto oite nile, whether he indu oite nile, anything that you have got, if you do it pridefully, you are actually having the characteristics of the devil. 
And God is saying, if you fear God, you will not have these things. This is what the first angel's message is saying, fear God. So if you fear him, all these characteristics which are bad, you will not find them in you. Which would, if you buy a suit, if you buy a car, none of your words will come uh, on top of the word of God. You would say, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I've got this. By the grace of God, I managed to do this. But if you say, I, 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 we leave that one. Unepkadneza, we figure in Daniel chapter 4, I'm not going to open that verse. Utiena, is this not great Babylon, which I have bought by myself? Anyiti, there is pride there. And then what did God do? Judgment came. He brought judgment, yet to take him to another level for him to realize that it doesn't come from God, it is from the devil. You come again, how do you identify uh, uh, the characteristics of the papacy today? You go to 2 Thessalonians chapter, 3, chapter 2, verse number 3 and 4. It says, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except they come a falling away first, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth himself above all that is called God, seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So it says that the papacy, it, it, it might sound like the papers literally, but the devil wants to sit in the temple of God. Which temple is Paul saying the devil wants to sit in? It is not the temple made by hands. It is the mind and the heart. Because the Bible says our bodies are the temple of what? Of God. So meaning that by the devil sitting in the temple of God, he is sitting in you. And Christ said what? If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. How do you lift up Christ? It is when his character is inside you. That's why the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, Etiona, I will write my law into their inward parts. Meaning, it's his character. He wants to write it, Gopi, and his own zetu. So, Uma Itiona, fear God, give him glory for the hour of his judgment is come. Now, for those who understand prophecy and the history of Seventh day Adventist, we understand which Ingilos Yon Kelena, in Jani, if you get in 1798. Are we aware of that? Did we know that? How. How, how many didn't know that would this angel, the first angel, I We didn't know it. How many knew? Okay. This you find in the book Great Controversy, right? If you read the book Great Controversy under the topic at prophecies fulfilled, it says that William Miller, God chose William Miller to come and proclaim these three angels' messages. Why? You have to fear God. When you fear God, you must have his character. When you have his character, there is a judgment. Actually, it's here. It's the third angels' message. If you get it. Sama Sabata Sonke? 1844. Ne? Angiti? It was in October 22nd, 1844. We need to know this history, Bazalwan. It says, uh, there's a quotation where she says, Uguti, we must know our history so that we, we know the time that we are living in. By us not knowing that, we are not going to be able to preach to other people outside. Which angels are we supposed to preach outside the church? It's the three angels' messages, right? So these three angels' messages, I cannot go and tell, oh, 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 Zalwan, Uguti, can you fear God when I don't fear God? I can't go and, 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 and tell Umzalan Guti there is a judgment that is to come, yet I do not know about this judgment. I cannot go and tell other person Uguti, Unga Lushugela Minang Pizmi Lushugel. I cannot say Uguti, you must reform in health reform, dress reform, in all these reforms that we are supposed to do as Seventh day Adventist, if I myself am not a living testimony. So, it is when they see the woman of Samaria, what did she, she say to the disciples? It is when they see the woman of Samaria, what did she say to the disciples? It is when they see the woman of Samaria, what did she say to the disciples? It is when they see the woman of Samaria, what did she say to the disciples? 
whereby Tina ourselves, we are a living testimony. So what does it mean to give glory to God? To give glory to God, it is to show his character. It is to reveal his character. Uma Exene Lana touched a powerful chapter, Google Exodus, when Moses was saying, show me thy what? Show me, thy show me thy glory. And when you go to Revelation 18, it yona the whole earth was lightened with the glory of who? Of God. Gushuta Maima Gama, Umtaba Wonke is lighted with the character of God. So Minuti by by giving glory to God, it is to reveal the character of God. Then when we do that, there is a judgment to come. Which judgment are we in? We are under the time period of investigative judgment. We are in the time period of, of time period of the day of atonement. It day of atonement, Ama Israelites were they forsaking, were they praying for their sins, and then Babuele back as on Zab. While the priest while the priest was in the most holy place. Were they doing that? Were they going back to their sins, which they have asked for forgiveness, or they were not going back? Which could this time as a church is the time for fasting. It is the time for what? For prayer. It is time to, 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 to put ourselves each and every time. Since it is being said that the three angels' messages are the messages to prepare Abantu for the second coming of Christ, how are we going to do that as a church? Then, okay, there's a crisis in the world. Abantu sebe katele mshambe, many people are tired of any pharmaceutical industry. That's when he introduced what? Medical missionary work. So by medical missionary work, medical missionary work, it's not the gospel. Ellen White says so. Medical missionary work, it's an opening wedge for the gospel to come in. Because if you go deeper and study this, you'll understand and realize Uguti, Gashegate is Sabata Likonala. Goba Melis Bashuma is an ani, Gesabat, Utibatalu, Utenaini, Isabata. But are we keeping the Sabbath ourselves? How many of us are keeping the Sabbath today? How will you reach to the people outside? Now I'm going to read this quotation for you. Um, it says Christ is coming the second time with power unto salvation to prepare human beings for his event. He has sent the first, second, and third angels' message. These angels represent those who receive the truth and with power open the gospel to the world. Now, if it's like that, then medical missionary work, it's a work that we have to know. Another quotation says, Uguti, we have come a time where each member of Seventh-day Adventist must take hold of the work of the medical missionary work. So I want to do a demonstration. Let's say Omunyumuntu will not understand this. Or Omunyumuntu is in the deathbed. There are situations where you need to take them to the hospital. There are situations where you need to okay, can I be able to assist Omunyumuntu Ganj? In your family or ama neighbors or in Shobozetu. So I just want to show you, Bazalana, how you can help somebody on a kidney failure. Failure, how you can extract ama impurities from the outside. Are we together? Can, can I help? Yes. Okay, this is part of medical missionary work. When we do medical missionary training as a church, it will not take only just a few minutes. It's a six-month course that one has to take, meaning that as a church, we have to plan either on how we can train each other on how to treat other diseases that we might have in our homes and in our different places. So it pays them for many years a month. It's a, it's, a, it's a charcoal uh, cayenne paper paste. This paste, it works for Umutu only now as Nuga. It works for somebody on a kidney failure. It works for somebody uh, on a, on, on a moya, as 
So you are now extracting all these impurities from the outside. Are we together? So this is charcoal, activated charcoal. We know it's solidarity. Mm. So charcoal, what it does, it takes and then it absorbs. Say what I said. It charcoal then it takes and then it absorbs. Now, in cayenne paper, what it does, corner by is again the substitution is better. Umuti is the aka living at his ya hammer it. Uma bes cheddar mumutu or bega and the balancing king and the wuti session me. Sometimes they use that resuscitation machine where they put in the heart to pump back in the heart again. Kayan paper works like that. So minimuti, if you have got a heart disease, heart failure, or you know you have got any kind of the intestinal problems, you can use any cayenne paper. So when you do that, I've got the cabbage here. Yeah? I've got cabbage. So this cabbage, what you're going to do, you are using it. If umanang here, your seven is as using your enemies as cognomagnet. She wants this is a substitute of what you don't have. Right? But the first one has to be the bandage. Bandage like this one. Yeah? When you put your paste lana, you put your paste and then you apply on the kidney. You have got two kidneys, the left side and the right side. So then you must know also in human anatomy how it works. So okay, this body part in la, this body part in la. By doing that, you are able to extract. Like I said, charcoal it takes and then it absorbs. Which would you, this remedy also yens? in such a way which the person will have to sleep the whole entire night. How are you going to see Uguti Lomutilo e treatment has taken place? How are you going to see Uguti Ngembela Udot Auseko Usupumile or some of the dirt is Pumile? It must stink. Melegunuge, whatever place, let's say Nitimina, I've got somebody I'm treating on a kidney failure. When I remove that paste, all of you must go outside. Because you can't stand the what? The smell, angiti. Therefore, that's a sign. You go to bone, you go to eat charcoal. It's powerful. Eat cayenne paper. It's what? It's powerful. So what you do is you are going to take one of um, the leaf. I don't know. Can I have water? If I'm on the corner, my dues. Okay, since I don't have a teaspoon, eh, I'm going to use it just to measure it. But then you will have to use a teaspoon and a tablespoon to do your mix. Okay, I don't know to it. It's fine. So this is charcoal, iron paper, and cabbage. Shangiti. Now you want to do this for somebody only now as no guy. So we, uh, after you've done that, utatamans wako. Hey, what is your machine? Okay, after you've done this, the paste, right? This is for, for, for the feet first. Then utata this paste like this. And then you utata if feet ya lo munti, in yaoza lo munti ne. Afage la, afage paste lena. 
when you put this paste ganji already you've got your powerful mixture lapo then you have to tie the leg and the the cabbage like this what do you use to tie you will use a plastic before you put a bandage why are you putting the plastic you you want the moisture e plastic it in in moisture if you don't put e plastic e charcoal ya sheshuk dry um sheshuk dry is not going to work so you have to be very cautious and make sure uguti your charcoal is not drying anytime soon it has to last throughout the whole entire night now umu then you take a bandage after you take a bandage you cover up the whole plastic or the whole uh mixture which you've done sasa at same this cabbage must not look green it must look red or yellow if it does not look green or yellow or you make a mistake someone by showing reddish and yellowish the reddish part it's when you realize this spaghetti kind paper aguna gas in now way if your feet the last time i was here this is called the song i say but if your feet is yellow or gray and you say i will go sick i will go we are going just that it is is it's and it's a heavy pass so in kind paper then it's now bringing the blood from all the body parts in later will be on your feet now what it does also it removes it does which is under the feet and takes it throughout the whole entire body that is why i'm saying it must look reddish or yellowish yellowish we are talking about in your ekisho from ssu so this is extracted from the feet itself that is the first part on the feet now the second part on the um the first part on the kidney then you now have to use this one this small square bandages umuso enze kanjalo uthatha i paste yakho you apply it on this very same bandage like this this is how it must be right after you after you've done that you put it direct to where the kidney is the other kidney and the other kidney then you use the same process of wrapping it with the plastic and wrap it with the what with the bandage again the same principle the plastic is to keep the heat so that the the, the charcoal um, is dry already so if you don't put it plastic your shesh would even even dry you put it to now a patient yako umizo lana my nalani yesis many lani nani exactly so that in given a complex a complex yakoni you must put a pillow underneath and make sure what if the paste is not coming out if the paste comes out then it is omosha in the pillow and the blanket and the sheet and all that are needed so therefore that means after you've done that you remove it tomorrow in the morning my sister started saying again it must steam it must take you out of that room because the stinkingness it's unbearable it is not good to the what to the nose itself so therefore almost in the grand jalo you've done your treatment you have cleansed umuntu nani on a kidney failure or on umuntu on on a kidney stones or kidney disease when you have done that you do that for three times a week come in the monday or wednesday or friday consistently until it paste aisandan aisandung this is how you treat umuntu on a kidney problem are we together mm -hmm. do we have question on that part before i move forward yeah. okay i'm asking 
Yes, it does work. Then the same for Madam during the Monday Friday. I, I I went there Friday. I was just going there to present. But I found Ubuntu open a kidney, but we have a kidney from him, he died since. And then the baby born a kidney is working, they are damaged already. So I managed to do from that period, from Friday, and I came back Monday, Monday or Tuesday. When I came back, sorry, before I came back, I did the treatment, a kidney. But the treatment happened was not just this. It was also with the internal uh, food and health and all other things. So when I did that, Man, we are not buying for me a bit more now. Sintete Samsa got doctor. Bam Pega got doctor. Bem check over to you. Okay, you probably know about the guy who made a eye toilet in a pipe. But no person has a corner guy with a gun. Eye toilet. My figure got doctor. The color of the kidney, which was there, when then it's no more there. So if we want to own a kidney failure, what color does it become? Do we know that? Yeah. Pay a hand. So we should want to eat a kind paper in the charcoal. Here we say that from death to life. We in Isaiah 38. It's a principle that says, I believe. God said, Hezekiah, you are going to do what? Die. And Hezekiah did what? Pray. After he prayed, what did Isaiah do? He said, take a lamp of figs and make a poultice. When he makes a poultice and then apply on the wound, Ellen White comments and say, God had power to curse the disease. But he did not take that part. He said, take a poultice. When you do a poultice, apply it. And then Isaiah, what? after that, you will be healed. So Isaiah was brought back to life through prayer and herbs. So when you do these things, it has to go together with umtandazo. It has to go together with saying, okay, le principle any tatayo, ngi tatagban, umi tatagunkulunkulu praise God because unkulunkulu cannot give you death. He gives you in ugupila. So ia se benza on that part. God, the difference is, is that abanyo banama medical. Aid, angiti. Therefore, u doctor unenjela agbegelenga kona. So we are going to wena. Do you want to go natural or you want to go straight with dialysis or whether chemo? So we are going to move to in. But yes, it can work also on the person on a, that very same situation. I don't know if I answered you. Yebo. I Okay, you e kind paper yako it's one teaspoon. One full level teaspoon and e charcoal yako it's two tablespoon. Yeah that the the water an egg and issue now is a bonti paste is in jan. Exactly, it's just to make a paste. So there is no measurement for in a man's. Yeah, you can put water until you burn with a uh, uh, paste your corner. It's enough to put it hard. Yes. Is it or even? Mm -hmm. I guess. Is it thick or even? Do not mind. No, maybe it be. I'm thick. It's in between, yeah. It's in between. It's in between. So you can't overdo it. You can't overdo it. The only person that you can overdo it is a person or a situation whereby, for example, an infection veil. I can't give you a, a quarter of a teaspoon for a to often go boost the immunity. When you have infection or you have a veil, then if I have to do that, I can eat one kg of garlic and give it a young. So that in whatever virus or infection on on Abu Nayo at that point in time. Pedi Limbos. Yep. It's like you can't use it when you don't have something. When you don't have a bandage. Yes. 
Yes, that's both for the feet. The bandage, you can actually use a bandage for the feet as well. But you'll have to fold it in a shape here, here now. Yes. Yeah. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is for the eyes, to those who are wearing specs. Ne? Uh, but I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, who are wearing specs. Not those ones whose eyes are now beyond. <laughs> ne? I mean, the information to Tabani OT from Sabani Ranch. Go to again. I may so if they steal that thing, you're good to know. Like my sister, I may so It's beyond. Una my lens is out three. So, meaning what you very much. I'm a sad. I'm a specs. I got born in Nix. Gumyam and Jelapo Gui. So, what you do now, you are not going to use cayenne paper. Because cayenne paper is supposed to get into the eyes. It's ugly mass, right? Now, therefore, you take each charcoal. Like I said, charcoal takes and absorbs. Therefore, you do a paste. Ye charcoal a cucumber. Right? Charcoal and cucumber. After you've done this paste, you just take one or three, eating at one um, teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe cucumber in one. It has to cover each space, yeah. It's a cucumber, isn't it? Umu senze ganjalo. I patient yako ilelu la paya, iya vala mecho. I cucumber or i chakolinga ngeni direct. Meli sebenze panje. I will teach you how to use charcoal from the inside. And for, the, for now school mangani, yeah, from the outside. So ume se lele la apoge, uyamlalisa gati and make sure the chin is looking uh in the chin in the it's level and it mele uston se ganj. Ah sing a big anj. Mele uston se elele et af len. What I'm gonna melo pants lan. Then umu sen zeganjalo, you take that paste of e e cucumber. Cucumber if we knew in a man's amani. So if in a man's amani yeah, in a footy, he paste your charcoal thing a bit dry. So it's going to be kept wet by the water inside the cucumber. The cucumber. Mm -hmm. And what do we learn about with the water in the Bible? The water of life. So when you take in a cayenne paper, you are taking in impilo, right? So you put it direct on the eye. After you've done that, you take a bandage, a stretch bandage. Those white bandage with this color, not with that one, like a big yellow, which but mele ibe mshope ganj. Umusenze ganjalo, you cover the all the eyes and the head itself. Alale, do that when the person goes to sleep throughout the whole entire night. Tomorrow in the morning, ben kelo tibazalone. What I'm saying, test it, whether it's true or not. The faithful Bereans never believed in Paul. Baby bala pants, and they went home. But test you lentele ya pira no matter. Umu senze ganjalo, it must stink again. And ame shoake melabe bomb. Excel. Uba bomb wa me sho unga kabangutu usubula lumund. Ikaz eli seculatai. The principle of ugutu uyakula in that area aguna gas. So, all okay, kind paper, no charcoal, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's going to be throughout the whole entire body. So, after you've done that, you do that three times a week. About the eyes. Now, we are going to lay you a measure for now. You are going again on the another stage. You have to have your bowel of water. I think I'm going to ask you, 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 I'm going to ask but I did these things for myself, and then anxiety kogi bugo. I'm able to what to read now. Now what you do, you, you then boil water. But umu supoili lamanzwako. Then you then put amesho Not after you've boiled the water, but you have to let the water do what cool down. Good temperature amesho zuguaz. Good tianjani atate that temperature. So when you do that, you kneel down. You close your mouth, you close your nose. But you must take a deep breath. 
Mangiti deep breath, it's when you take the air in. Ningena bona na baba inzi swimming. Those are the exercises that they do. You take the air in and take it out. So to take the air in, in the lungs and the kidneys, you are keeping yourself breathing from the inside. Do, did we know that? Yeah. So therefore, you open your eyes inside the water. You count one, two, three, five seconds, come out. Go back, count one, two, three, four, five seconds, you come out. Until you reach 20 seconds. When Zaganjad, your eyes will be red. But then, you are done with this one. You have to take lemon and honey. This one is bitter again. For lemon and honey. In honey, what you do, you take a drop. Kuna ma eye drops, la wabawa se spell If you do have them, you put your honey inside. But then, if you don't, you have to use your, your finger. You drop it, ganje. And then you, 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 Then the same thing with the lemon as well. But the lemon, you, 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 that are no more working inside the eye. They are now beginning Utanjani So by doing that, the person bring comes back to what? To life. Using Ama natural remedies lawa will help Abantu Uguti Bangabon Amanja Gue. What about Amanja Ban? Unkunkun. Then when they ask you which church do you go to? Seventh day Adventist. Nikonza ni. Skonza ni sabat. Sekbuza ni sabat. So a medical missionary is created for the gospel to enter in. Okay. I'm so sorry, Okay, oh thanks. We we put the paste on top of the cucumber. And then the, 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 the paste has to be direct to the eye. Yes, to the eye. Your eyes should be closed. Might be outside the eye. Like, for example, don't open your eyes. And in terms of sis, it's the bandage. The bandage will, will, will squeeze together the eyes so that they don't open themselves. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. Alright. So, the, the next thing I want to say about ama natural remedies is that when you are using them, ama natural remedies, we have to pray to God before we use them. And each and every house must have a kind paper, cinnamon, Turmeric, uh, abo ginger, abo garlic, abo bitter cooler. Say as a bitter cooler. Okay, if bitter cooler, I'm a daughter on Kenny, Melanie born for a bitter cooler. Right? Melanie born for a bitter cooler. If you want, bitter cooler is found in Nigeria, is found in, in Kenya, Tanzania, Nasebutwana. Itolagala in Africa. It's a nut. Ebugega ngati, it's a, it's a cashew nut. It's a nut itself. It's bitter. It cures, go to Google or ask any doctor that you want or that you trust. Umbuz, what are the benefits of bitter cooler? It cures the chronic diseases. Now, to a man who has a low sperm count, it brings back and boosts it back. That is for the merit. I don't advise Abantu Abasha to take Ama remedies. Abantu Abanjani. Abasha Dile. Because Guzo Gwenzu Gutu Trinu Senzan. U committee fornication. Usona. Gwebe Guben and King. MZ Nangiti. So what you have to do is to take that bitter cool as a person. For anybody who has got any chronic disease, we are Guzguti Uipuze. 
Even women can drink bitter cooler. But it's a, it's a nut which you have to chew. When you chew that nut, melu puse na mans, moba ia baba. Bitter cooler, which is ikule akona, it's K O L A. Yeboma. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 To see if it's effective on your body. Then umu yibona uti iba effective. Or what I always do to my, to my patient is that I start with one remedy to see how your body reacts. Or if it doesn't work on your body, then I'll have to take a second stage or a third stage. As a was guti isebensa nomzimba wako. The honey one, the one that you it's the one that I know of, but I use only hand. Like you put a chocolate hand in both eyes, and then you hear the something about it, but I do not know the lemon Yes. So you mix, you mix the lemon. It's a glimmer, you mix two power strong things, do them separately. Ilemon yenza yotwa, ihan yenza yotwa. I knew of the pink one. Yeah, okay. The, the white one also. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. How many hands? Is Kasam says, says Shail. I've got my sister here. And then uh, Brother Sandile. Okay, so Kala no Sisi. Okay, my sister is not clean up with you. Okay. okay. Yeah, bo. Um, okay. We can eat. I'm not saying our friends. Yeah. So should we go for anyone? So should we go for a natural honey? It has to be organic, natural honey. But then umu 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 zoi pega e kapik and pay or will wait. When if want to see if honey is original, you do this. If you share sha uglande la the container, that's a watery honey. But then if it at this car to go zang up, you be a mover, then that's a pure honey. Yeah, but cook. Okay, since we have a good operation, I would advise you to do a, a beetroot carrot juice. We pose. Go to Ankelu to sugar and analysis into as cause a Uguti M Zimbenwako Ube Nenembeze in name. Melusugan in obese. That causes mucus. In Yembezi is a buya from mucus. Too much mucus in the body causes that. So when a Melusugan in obese, all in com. Mele Ungaji refined foods. Sorry? Goat milk. Any animal milk was created for the little animals. Our breast is a breastfeeding 
or natural milk. If you substitute the soy milk um, or the natural the nuts, the cashew nuts and the almond nuts. And the breast milk, but if you cool it, I'll say it up. Yeah. And then, you can see it. Yeah. 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 Can I request when the lesson on that? Mobile it's long. Yeah. Can I request you do a lesson on that? About Alain. Ugo the lesson on that. Answering umbuzo lol. But then there, there, there is in the la yogo ti unawa trita ganja. Ama organs failure lao. But melu seben si moringa gakul. Moringa and spirulina powder. Is spirulina powder? It's a it's a green powder that has got high uh, percentage of protein so it comes back and fight less into owners and then a into a caesar it's his soap yeah his soap yeah his soap is very good yeah but I, I would like to have a uh, by just answering you like this i'm not doing justice organ by organ this organ in my solution yeah you can join again in the number demonstrations yes Okay. Well, I think I'll answer this, uh, this type of time. But mind you, okay, I need to find it in a month. Okay. Okay. Yeah, boy. Uta ta i infatu gune. Yeah, boy, infatu gesi te pense kishe. So, and then you put your hand. So, infatu is, is working as a safer. Because there is no safer that can safer E, those particles or they are too small. So utata e in fact yako, but in fact yako, my be in fact to vele el in the log. I logu ti u ya sebenza for his each abesia it tatu sebenza. It must be for that. Then you squeeze it on your container. Uma we squeeze on your container, there will be a difference. Yeboma. In Kalubana Baniza and Dumtala u setting clarepans. Straight ones. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm not sure about what one more I'm not sure about what one more I'm not sure about this game. I said this game is to give a lay a machine as I'm going because of our brands. But if it's spirulina and it's green, you, you can still use it. Too much of everything is, is bad. So, you can use but in the program, you to today you are juicing, tomorrow you are not juicing. But in every juicing oil, then you must add in a carrot. But it becomes powerful, umushanganisa ama veggies and fruits. Ungati, it be true, a carrot and the and apula eli el bomb. A apula el bomb was created for the eyes. The green one is for the other part, the organs la la bega kumangao from the inside. So you must eat e apula e apule bomb cool. You mix them together, you blend or you make a smoothie, then you, you drink it. That's the end. Sorry? Okay, umoya esiswini. Ngizoti yega ama co drinks ukala. Anything that has got that, that, that brings fermentation. Ugwa bonu guti i healthy asem shaben. Uya guazu ya bonu i si chane. I I was labing corner. It's non Adventist. They were telling me guti they are vegetarians. But when I looked at their plate, there were veggies and fruits in the same plate. In principle, it when you mix vegetables and fruits, you are causing umoya. 
you're causing uh, fermentation in the stomach. So you must know what not to mix together. Then umusu inzega njalo, utata itwai. Five teaspoon of salt. Five teaspoon of salt and four lemons. Any salt or hemeline salt. And then umusu inzega njalo, you then take four lemons and then boil your one liter bottle. But nganga lolo sugu, unga yemse benzin. When you are sitting down, we hold it or it's weekend. Then you boil water and then you let it cool down after you've mixed all the ingredients. Then you drink that whole one liter. But I would say if your stomach cannot take more than one liter, you can take according to how your stomach takes. From within five minutes, you must go to the toilet. When you go to the toilet, even the lungs, you feel them. So it takes away, it takes away ini umoya pand. Another way you go to utate to remove umoya esiswin when you are bloated is when you take ginger and cayenne paper and charcoal, mix them together and then drink two times a day on an empty stomach. Another thing would help you is a juice fasting for one week. You are blending fruits, vegetables, in place of your breakfast, fruit juice. In place of your lunch, you're having vegetables. Yeah, gluten and it, it involves yeast as well. All right, to Dr. Wak. All right. Go by yeast, it's part of uh, uh, the cause of the umoya SSV. Okay, Bazalani, let's catch some Mrs. Hambi. Let's go to the next one. Gonna light up the whole wide world. Gonna let it shine.